Good morning. Here's a new word for you, galactoseismology. This new computer simulation shows a dwarf galaxy sweeping past our Milky Way and causing the whole galaxy to undergo not an earthquake, but a galaxy quake. Astronomers confirmed this idea by tracking the motion of three bright Cepheid variable stars racing away from our galaxy, and they now believe these stars are part of an unseen dwarf galaxy laden with dark matter that brushed against our Milky Way millions of years ago, leaving seismic ripples in its wake. Scientists report they've now seen visible light from a black hole. By definition, black holes have such powerful gravity that nothing, not even light, can escape. But if a black hole is in orbit with a companion star, it may be pulling material off of that other star, and it may be the material may be going into a disk around the black hole, so processes in that disk may be creating high-energy radiation, like X-rays and gamma rays, and that's how scientists study black holes. But visible light, that's something new. Uh, scientists say that, yes, they've now observed visible light from a black hole. They observed an outburst from a very nearby black hole last June. Uh, that's the black hole V404 Cygni, located about 8,000 light years away. And they said this past week that during the outburst, they could see flickering light from this black hole's vicinity that was bright enough to be seen even in backyard telescopes. Uh, here's an image from um, near the North Pole. This is an aurora. From near the North Pole, Kevin Rollins works for the Global Atmospheric Watch in Alert, which is a northernmost territory of Canada. He's just 500 miles from the pole. He told us that people are surprised when he says he's too far north for auroras, but in fact the conditions that create auroras actually weaken when you get near the poles. So Kevin got this photo last Monday, and he said that... Uh, he called it a once-in-a-lifetime photo. So also notice here that sunlight is just now returning to this part of Earth as spring approaches. You can submit your image to click the Submit Images button at the top of any page at earthsky.org. Oh, and here's a cool photo just released this week by NASA. Uh, this is an image of Ceres, uh, the dwarf uh, planet Ceres, uh, which orbits in the asteroid belt. This image was taken by the Dawn spacecraft, which has been orbiting Ceres since last March. This crater is one of the youngest known on Ceres. It's been named Kapalo for uh, a Slavic god of vegetation and the harvest. And notice the sunlight and shadows here. NASA says that the bright material on the sunlit rim is probably salt. And by the way, remember those bright spots on Ceres? They look like uh, alien car headlights that were on the dwarf planet Ceres. Well, the verdict is in on those as well. And NASA says those are probably salt deposits too, much like you see on this crater's sunlit rim. That's all for today. Um, I'm going to leave you with a cool new video just released from SpaceX. It's the successful, successful launch and landing of their Falcon 9 rocket in December. SpaceX will try again on Sunday to land the Falcon 9 upright on a floating platform at sea. Talk to you Monday. Like a stage ignition. Stage one is out of its foot. Stage one, boost track is starting.
spacecraft one and two have been deployed. Final orbcom, they were deployed.